гораздо лучше, чем 20 августа. He's recovering in Berlin from what Germany calls an attempt to kill him by poisoning. Now in his first video appearance since leaving hospital, Alexei Navalny has told a Russian blogger he's progressing. My hands shake. I have to drink water out of a bottle. It's a bit of a sight if you see how I do it. I'm getting better every day. I'm working with physiotherapists. Today he started teaching me to juggle. So in a while you'll be seeing me juggle, ride a unicycle and pull a rabbit out of a hat. The 44-year-old was airlifted to Berlin in August after collapsing on a flight from the Siberian city of Tomsk to Moscow. The German government says he was poisoned with Novichok, a rare nerve agent. And Navalny says there's no doubt he was targeted by Russia's intelligence agencies or the FSB secret service on orders from the Kremlin. It couldn't just be a rogue oligarch or a corrupt official, because if you look at who has access to Novichok and knows how to use it, it's about five people in the intelligence service and five people in the FSB. Navalny's been the biggest thorn in the Kremlin's side for more than a decade. He's served a series of short prison sentences for staging unauthorized protests against President Vladimir Putin and alleged corruption linked to Putin's United Russia party. When he fell ill, he'd been campaigning for opposition candidates in last month's local elections. Look at Tomsk. We deprived United Russia of their majority. Don't underestimate this. Plus, for context, there was the Khabarovsk protest, Belarus and all the rest. Putin is personally concerned about his power and money. There is no doubt about it. On Monday, Russia once again rejected such accusations. Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov referenced a Novichok attack in Britain by suspected Russian agents in 2018. Former double agent Sergei Skripal and his daughter fell ill but survived. Of course, we're interested in knowing the truth regarding Alexei Navalny as soon as possible, but the situation is outrageous. It looks exactly the same as what's called the Skripal case, where there were accusations, but there was no evidence demonstrated. Navalny's anti-corruption foundation is among the nominees for the Nobel Peace Prize, which will be announced on Friday. He and his wife are now living in Berlin, but he says he doesn't want to be the opposition leader in exile and won't be posting his own videos until he can return to Russia. Nadim Barber, Al Jazeera.